God is good. And all the time, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 27 reads, Yet God has chosen what the world considers foolish to shame the wise. He has chosen what the world considers weak to shame the strong. In today's first reading from the book of Judges, yesterday I mentioned and we saw how the Israelites had given up on God, gone to worship other gods, especially Baal. And at the period of the Judges, God chose men, women, who would lead them as it were, to do what he asks them to do. In today's first reading, we see the calling of Gideon. And the Israelites were being tormented by the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, and he calls him champion. And I think Gideon is thinking, well, champion, what's up? Uh, the champion Israel is hey, you, you are an angel. What is happening to us? Look at all the things happening to us. The Midianites are disturbing us. You know, we are being, you know, killed, tormented. Are you sure God is there? God should revive Habakkuk 3 verse 2. Revive in our days the things we heard he did to our ancestors. Tell we are suffering. <laughs> he did not know that he was the champion the angel was talking about. And the angel said, okay, no problem, Gideon, you are the one chosen by God to lead the Israelites to defeat the Midianites. In some texts, the angel will say, warrior, Gideon. And Gideon said, hey, Tobo, take your time. When you read Judges 6, verse 15, Gideon says, hey, hey, please, my Lord, how can I Gideon saved Israel. My family is the lowest in Manasseh, in our tribe. We are the lowest family. And in that family, in that house, Gideon, I am the most insignificant. Most insignificant in my family. So meaning that if your clan is the lowest, and you are also what? <laughs> the insignificant in your house. And it means the whole place, no, you are the what? The weakest. The most, quote unquote, most useless. But Christ will tell us in Luke 17, 10. Oh, after you have done all that you have been asked to do, say what? You are a useless servant. Useless. So, of course, if indeed you are useless, you are the one God needs. And Gideon couldn't believe he would ask for a sign. He would bring meat and living bread. The broth, he would pour on it. That is the, the, the stock, the, the protein and all that you pour on it. And when the stuff is put on it, fire will come and consume. Then Gideon said, hey, don't even wait till that time. The point is that, I've said this before. See yourself as God sees you. Don't see yourself according to how people see you. See yourself according to how God sees you. And if you understand, you see, as you grow in the spirit, when you come to understand how God sees you, it rather humbles you than make you arrogant. When I see people who are arrogant, I know that well, they are all, we are all growing. If you see yourself as God sees you, I'm telling you, you may be nobody, but God sees you as a warrior, as a champion. And you know that, no, 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 this is not me. It is God. Sometimes you accomplish issues, you are given awards, you are given this, and you know, oh, where do I come from? Who is my family? You are the one chosen by God. Because God qualifies the unqualified. He qualifies them. To do his work. But the issue is that from the humble beginnings, when we reach there, we think we have arrived. 
You don't respect human beings. You don't respect, we, we forget. But I tell you, nobody has been born 50 kilograms. Nobody. Nobody has been born like myself here. Yeah. A woman goes to labor and delivers a child as huge as I am. There's a problem. Even the woman who collapsed before she gives birth, she may even die. <laughs> Everybody is born as what? A baby. Humble beginnings. Even Jesus Christ was born as Christmas, as a baby. Humble beginnings. So when you become, uh, don't be arrogant. You, we will see the kind of exploits God will use Gideon for. Fantastic. The number of, of defeats he will give people, it is God. So if you may have made it in your, in your, as, as, a, as a chartered accountant, as a lawyer, as a judge, as a doctor, as a teacher, as a priest, whatever, as a bishop, whatever, but then you understand, oh God, who am I? Who is my family? Who, who are you? Who are you? Today you can die, but God has chosen you, and I mention it all the time, Mission is tied to time. Mission is tied to time. It's tied to location. My, lo my, my, my mission in St. James will come to an end one day. Whether I die or whether I'm transferred. Your time here will come to an end. It is up to you to understand that God has called you for a purpose. Not because you are the best priest. For goodness sake, who are you? Who am I? Who am I? Even if you had a, a PhD from whatever, who are you? It is by the power of God. The power of God. And that is why he tells you that, oh, if you are working for him, lose everything, leave everything, you will receive what? Eternal life. Because he himself, although he was rich, tell me you read it, although he was rich, he did what? He became poor. Sometimes you meet people and they are talking, you look at them quietly. Like they don't know what they are talking, they don't know anything. And what they are saying is wrong. And so now you must what? Humble yourself to do what? To bring them up. That is Christ. You see their arrogance. Sometimes you have traveled heaven and earth and you are still humble. Hey, and you see people who have done nothing. You, know, you have gone higher. You have worked for Ghana. You are 60 years. You see people. You, you know how you have toiled. And you see children of today. Sometimes I think most of your minds will be looking at us and look at this young priest anyway. Because he has gone through it before. He has been vicar general, he has been whatever, but that is the world. You must become poor. You must humble yourself. You can raise Christ in it. So if you are doing it, it's not strange. That's why today we celebrate the queenship. The queenship of the blessed Virgin Mary. How old was she? Sometimes when we mention Mary's name, we think that she was 85 or 60 years when God called her. Gideon insignificant mary you also the daughter of <laughs> king herod no not from any well-to-do family no humble god chose to be the mother hey mother of god 14 look at her this, this one she's even older this statue she's older 14 16 years maximum she was chosen as mother of god i said hey god so when you want a woman to have your child and you call you chose 16 years what about if she couldn't take care of the child she's the one he chose and today we celebrate her queenship she is queen because her son is what king there can be no mariology without what christology she is queen because and 11th october 1954 those ones most of my they were alive 1954 pope pius the 12th gave that encyclical actually reginam actually reginam to the queen of heaven that she proclaimed on that day that she is queen and if you calculate today is the octave eight days after what assumption we commemorate the queenship of the blessed virgin mary humble beginnings god raised her up to save the world God chose Gideon, humble beginnings, to save Israel. Tell yourself, ask yourself, what is God calling me to achieve? May the way of the Lord be realized in our lives. And may we always be humble in spirit. Amen.